kind of build up. We're also looking at the whole part hole approach. Does anybody know what the whole part hole approach is? Has anybody ever heard of it? No? I didn't hear you. The whole, whole part hole. Okay, so the whole thing is doing the skill. So we're letting them paddle away at the skill, whatever it is. So I'm going to show you the crouch left now. Uh, when you stop it, the part bit is when you do a bit of skill development. Okay, so look at your head, hands, and feet, what they should be doing. And then you go back into the hole. So it's a different game to practice that skill. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the crouch lift. Alright, so we're going to get uh, five people in this half of the hall. Five participants. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, now, so five of them standing for another ten of the twelve. And we'll warm up the Again, this is just a wee game. Just to start us off with the crouch lift. So, you don't tell them what it is. Just tell them the game. I want you to pick up a ball and move to the new space, set it down, pick up a new ball, move to the new space. Go. You're not giving them any coaching points. You're not telling them how to lift it, what way to lift it. What you're looking for is somebody who can do it well. Okay, the one will do the coaching point. And stop there. Okay, the point is going to very easy. So, Patrick, can you show how you're lifting the ball? Still? Okay, so you get kids doing that, which is fine. I didn't say any rules, so we can do it tomorrow. Okay, uh, Rob, 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 why don't you show us how you pick the ball? Alright, I said there, do another one. Go on again for you, do another one, do another one first. Okay, again, there we go. So what we're saying now is, can everybody do it like Rob? So with 9 and 10, you should know what the crowd Okay, so now, the next thing is, can you pick the ball up, just like Rob did with the crouch lift, pick it up and set it down somewhere else. Ready? Go. So now what you should see is all of the crouch lift. Okay? All of the crouch lift. Okay, and stop there, and stop there. So, again, you can play that game, put a bit of competition. How many can you lift in 10 seconds? How many can you lift in 20 seconds? Uh, who's the first one to lift 10, who's the first one to lift 5? Just something for a bit of crack and a bit of fun. So that'll be the first game over, that's the whole part done. Okay, so that's the whole, that's five. Now we're looking at the part. So again, this can be done individually, it can be done in groups. How do you think you could coach, can anybody give me a coaching point for the crowd? Put your hands together. So put your hands together. Okay, so then, what would your coaching point be? So your Send two. Good stuff, okay? So you tell us, just one other thing. So you've, you've taken a hand. Okay, this time you pick the ball, I want you to make sure you have your hands in front when you pick the ball. I want you to pick up three balls. Go. Now what you're looking for is your coaching point. Are they all doing it? And, and stop. Good. Well done. Well done. Now, you'll get the kids. Who do this? So you have to explain why. Why do you put your hands in front? Make sure you don't walk. Make sure you don't walk. Make sure you don't kick the ball through your hands. Make sure you actually lift it up. Okay? So that's your first coaching point. Again, you can run that in drills. You can run it in a straight line. You do it just like we're doing here. Anyone give me a coaching point for the head? Head right over the ball. Head right over the ball. So your eyes are, when you think about it, your eyes are, eyes are level, eyes are looking at the ball. Okay? So again, just to fly through, you do that as well. So five men, and you watch that. Pick up five balls this time. And you watch the boys look at the ball. Now the man's doing this here, you keep kicking the ball away. Okay? You stop him, and you tell him. Look at the ball. If he looks at the ball, he doesn't. Spot the fix. Done. Okay? Then you're looking at the feet. Then we give a crucial point for the feet. Stand foot beside the ball. Stand foot beside the ball. Um, Kick your foot just behind it, kick the ball with the hands. So they've taken hands in front, eyes and ball, and now the feet. So again, you lift three balls using those three coaching points. So you would say three coaching points. So we're using the skills that you just learned. Okay, you lift two footballs on Go. Okay, now what you're watching for here is you're hoping, that's it, you're hoping that it goes all through three of those skills. If he doesn't, you stop. Go in the spot and fix. Okay, so that was that game done. Then you go back into the game. Now you're putting your, your 
uh, conditional that you have to pick the ball using a trick. So we've got one, two, three, four. Can four other people come in? Oh, okay. I'll do two on two. I'll do two on two. Alright? So two on two. One, two versus one, two. Every time you pick a ball up, you get a point. Okay? It's your job to tag them before they pick the ball up. Okay? So if you're running for that ball there, when I tag it, you can't lift it. Okay? Alright? Then you can put it down. Alright? So the two boys in here, you can see these people. Ready? Go! One point, two points. Okay, I'll stop, I'll stop. Very good. Now, you're automatically putting them under pressure. So they're doing the skill under pressure, they can win the game. Um, how do you make it easier? More balls. More footballs? Two on one. Two on one. You get two on one, three on one. So we'll play three on one just for ten seconds. Okay, you're the one, and they're the three. Okay, go. You're the three, you're the three. Okay, I'll stop. So, what is this team here doing all the time? They're doing the skills. What are they also doing? Get them up. Scores. Get the scores. Confidence. Fill the confidence. They're always scoring. Then, 3v2, 3v3. Then you swap it around, okay? So, is anyone any questions on the crowd system? How you do your part one? Yes? No? Great coach. Okay. So, can you see how you go from bowl to the first skill, let them just pop their way out, let them, let them do whatever they want? In the, the part bit, you give them a few weak coaching points. Don't overdo them. Let them do the hands first, five or six times. Let them do the feet, five or six times. Let them do the eyes, five or six times. Then eventually, you do the whole skill. Then you go back in the week and pivot to them like Okay, one thing I didn't stress that you probably should be doing is both sides of the body. Okay? So the better players are always left from the right foot depth, the right foot depth, the right foot depth. Okay, for the weaker players, they're struggling, just keep them a little bit better. Are there any questions on the crouch of the full part of the No? Right on the top. Okay.